Hello, hello everybody. Happy, happy Monday. I can't believe it's almost July. I don't really know what to do with myself. It's June 22nd today. Uh, do you feel like June has flown by, Becca? I do. I do. I do. I do too. Oh gosh. Well, anyways, happy Monday, guys. Let us know what you've got going on today, where you are visiting from. Let me know if you're if you're doing something fun. Let me know what's blessed you this past week, and I hope you all are having a fantastic start to your week here. Um, it's beautiful weather here in East Tennessee. We had a really bad storm yesterday that did some damage around town. Yeah, it did. Um, our landlord came and said we had some shingles off the roof and some damage up there and things like that. So that's going to have to be taken care of. Apparently, the one and only Starbucks we have in town, which is inside of a grocery store, it just decided to rain. Like literally just, looked like it was raining inside. Just We're not pouring talking a trickle. We're talking inside. like full-fledged rain. Yeah, it was yeah. ridiculous. Crazy. Like someone was just pouring buckets of water inside the building. I, God love them. So the baristas just had to just leave and it was, it was rough. So Tanner and I'm sure is sad about that today. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you all are doing well. We're going to be able to make a really fun project today. Really, it's two projects because we're going to be making the sign and the jug. So stay tuned for that. We have some supplies we're going to get to and all of that good stuff. But don't uh, don't forget to ask me any questions that you might have. Miss Becca is here moderating as always, and she's going to let me know if there's any questions that you guys ask about this project or about us or Maker's Gonna Learn or anything like that. Um, so yeah, um, Becca, how's your Monday? I know I've been with you all morning, but we're draggy. Yeah, that's what we were talking about right before. We're just sort of draggy, and like, we didn't I feel have, like, like a it's massive been... weekend. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah. I feel like it's been productive today, but yeah. just kind of like. Like I, I keep forgetting the broom downstairs, and I'm like, oh, those stairs. And then Guys, I, there's a lot of stairs. Do you, there's you a lot of stairs. How many are there? 19. 19 stairs. There's I knew you would count them because you and Anna are the same like that. Yeah, there's 19 <laughs> steps. So I just That's hate a lot. it. And it's the ones that go like up and then up and then up. Oh. Sometimes if we like forget something downstairs right before a live, then we have to like calm ourselves because we're like. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll run downstairs from back up and then we have to like take two more minutes and yeah. just, you know, control our breathing. <laughs> But, um, hi Mary Ann, I hope that you are okay with that storm yesterday. I, I see you posted a picture on Facebook of it rolling in because your backyard has a gorgeous view of the mountains and you can see that storm rolling in and I thought, oh man, that looks rough. And yeah. it, it was, it was completely sunny and then all of a sudden it was just the wind and the rain, it was nuts. The thunder was insane. I love a good storm though. <laughs> I don't. Fallon is terrified of them. Is, oh yeah, yeah, you said she's developed a bit yeah. of a fear of storms. That's... Love and then think heart. of all the puppies. I know there's a lot of dogs out there that are really scared of storms and oh, yeah. fireworks and stuff, yeah. so I know this is going to be a, a tough couple of weeks for some scary pups. Uh, yeah, it was massive, Marianne. But... Okay, guys, so as always, all of these supplies and cut files that we are using today is in the description below. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through them. You all stop me. Let me know if you have any specific questions on these. Uh, so first of all, we're going to talk about our jug here because I think it's gorgeous. I love that thing. On, I think it's adorable. Mm -hmm. It comes with this pretty little white cap. Um, and what I like most is that it's very minimal with like what's on it. All it says is one gallon. You can't even really tell. It's just kind of like in the glass. Um, so it's just a gallon, simple gallon jug from Amazon. Um, less than $15. I think I'm allowed to say that. Um, so that was really cute, really simple. We got that. And then we also have our etch all because we're going to be etching that. You kind of can't see it very good unless you're up closer, but you can totally see it when you're here in person. Um, we have a cut file um, etched on this glass and it says you and me always and forever. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing on the glass. So we have our etch all, some gloves and a jumbo popsicle sticker, craft sticker, whatever you guys won't get mad at me for calling that. <laughs> And um, along with our jug, we have some paper and some ribbon here. Um, also some scissors. We are using our ATG gun. Uh, that's how we got them uh, kind of tightly curled, but that's only because we were using such heavy cardstock. The idea for this is kind of like, not really a guest book, but kind of like an addition to like, while you know, you guys are serving your guests dinner or having a plated meal or whatever, it's kind of like next to the honeymoon fun jar or something. Just something fun can, that your guests can do. Write down good wishes that you guys can kind of open up and read as the years go by and things like that. So 
you won't need this ATG gun if you were like at your wedding just use a lighter a paper here uh, so this is just printer paper copy paper um, yeah so that's all we need for that jug it's really cute it comes together super easily the hardest part is maybe just making the stencil which is actually kind of easy so we're gonna be able to show you that today and we also have this random tray that I found to hold our jug in place while we have that etching cream on there. It's important for it not to start slipping and sliding everywhere because that etching cream can be a little messy and runny. So we do need to be careful about that. Um, I don't think I've missed anything here. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, Miss Su Susan, your wedding ideas are so helpful because I'm helping a family friend with his wedding with a Native American twist. That's awesome, that's great. I hope that you're learning a lot from these lives that you can incorporate into that, um, yeah, that wedding for you. Next up, we'll talk about our little frame here. This is from Hobby Lobby. Uh, please get it half off if you can. He is $7.99 and it's just a simple five by seven frame here uh, from Hobby Lobby. We did get ours half off. We um, bought a ton of them whenever they do go on sale like that. So that's just a five by seven frame. Uh, to go in him, we have some pattern paper. And in your supply list, I've actually linked the Chevron pattern paper. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's Chevron. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have any more. So just to kind of show you that you can just diversify and make it what you want it. We have this pretty gold pattern paper here today. And this just came out of a paper pack. But just go to Hobby Lobby. They're like four for a dollar most of the time. Um, and you guys can get some of that. And along to going along with that to cut it, we have a paper trimmer. And that's how we're going to cut our little pieces of paper to make our little scrolls for our jar and that's how we're going to cut our pattern paper for our photo frame so you're going to need that as well we have some masking paper transfer tape we have some alcohol and some paper towels and to make our um vinyl decal for our sign here and the stencil for our uh, etching we have just some scrap vinyl here i would not recommend using a color of vinyl that you absolutely adore to make your stencil because you will just be tossing that so if you have stencil vinyl or something that's fine or maybe a color you don't particularly like in this case i grabbed this blue that i don't think is gorgeous so that's what we use today and for all of you wondering, this is Oracal 651. You can use whatever you have. As long as it just creates a good seal, a good quality vinyl, it'll do just fine for that stencil for the etching cream. Yeah, you want it to have a good um, adhesive on it for sure. Don't get cheap vinyl and Or do don't that. use old vinyl that's not sticky. Don't do it because then you'll, like Becca said, you'll lose your seal and it'll start to kind of get under those cracks and crevices in the vinyl and that is not what we want, so. Yeah, so hi guys. Let's I see. I think they're sleepy like we are. They're awful quiet today. Are you guys quiet today? Pretty, they're pretty Did quiet. notifications go out? I think because mm -hmm. we just have plenty of friends here. But you know what? I feel like no questions just means that you guys are really understanding the project, which is great. Sometimes we have uh, more difficult projects with 10 questions a minute and then other times it's kind of quiet so if this is a quiet monday i'm fine with it feel free to ask your questions um if you're just tuning in welcome to the channel guys i'm rachel and miss becca is the one talking to you guys that you cannot see behind the camera moderating and changing my screens for me and doing all that fun stuff and we run a membership web website called Baker's Gonna Learn. So what that is, is if you guys have a die cutting machine that uses SVG and PNG cut files, then you will love Baker's Gonna Learn. Regardless if you've had your machine for a day or two years. Or you don't even like, have it yet. We have a lot of members who get them, you know, get our membership before they get their machine. Great point, Becca. Yeah. I mean, it, that's a great way to kind of dive in and go ahead and see what you want to make and see what you can go ahead and learn. Because I would... I would argue, Becca, that like 80%, that's a high number, 80% of this machine and how to use it is like memorization, like what you, what skills that you can retain without touching the machine, knowing the software, getting in design space, knowing what you're doing in there, uh, remembering to always change your material and to mirror this. Uh, with the machine, you load it in and you press cut. That You know, aside from that, you really need to know all the knowledge and we have uh, all of that in Makers Gonna Learn. It's perfect for beginners, especially that yearly membership because we do have uh, fonts as well as the cut files. We have commercial licensing and printable guides, access to that member only Facebook group, which is incredible to ask questions and you know show off your amazing projects, get help when you need some creative criticism. 
uh, constructive criticism and things like that. So it's really amazing if you haven't already got it. Go ahead and get your membership. It's great. We do have monthly and six monthly. Six month memberships available, but our yearly is like 98% of what our members choose because it's actually cheaper over the course of a year than the monthly. You say $48 a year being a yearly membership, being a yearly member, and you get more for it, which is awesome. So I don't think I've missed anything still. I don't see any question marks, which is fine. Um, Cindy, yeah, uh, she said, I don't even own a Cricut and I'm here. Cindy, yeah, hi, listen, it's, it's just kind of, you guys can learn so much without even having a Cricut yet. Uh, we do have a lot of people. I answer emails and questions all the time. Can I get a membership without a machine yet? It's on its way or I just ordered it. You absolutely can. You can be in there and look through our files and fonts and start favoriting some files that you know you want to use and favoriting videos that you know you want to, you know, learn how to do the technique in them and things like that, which is incredible. And in that yearly membership, we also include three e-courses that allow you guys to learn your machine, which is why it's so amazing for beginners. So we have a machine all about learning a we have a machine we have an e-course all about learning the machine we have an e-course all about learning about design space and we even have one for like how to build a business so like an introductory course to building a business through die cutting and then to go along with that uh, many of our members already know we do include that commercial license in there meaning you guys could sell this for money for your own profit completely legally um, which is amazing so yeah that's super fun Ooh, ooh, guess who just unboxed their first Cricut machine? Oh my gosh, congratulations. That's so exciting. I bet you love it already. I bet you love it. And Miss Sherry, do you have classes on how to make your own SVG files? We do. So it's actually in a course called Design oh, Makes Sale. What? But it's the 22nd. Yeah, it's going to be sad. It's going to be sad because they can't get it. But yeah. we, I mean, you missed the boat, but we have a program, but we missed the, you missed the boat. Oh no. But we have one. Uh, again, we really haven't seen Tanner, so we really don't know what's going on with that, but. Maybe, maybe email customer service, hi at makersgonnalearn.com and see if they've like extended it. was it. yesterday. No, no, extended oh, it one no. day or we'll extend it one yeah, day or we something got, like we that. We got the um, announcement that uh, registration was closed on the 21st, which was yesterday. That's all me and Becca know. Yeah. We have no idea. But for um, sure email customer service because. And I, ask, mm, yeah. Maybe you could grovel and tell them you need this class so bad because you need to learn how to make your own SVG. It does have that and a lot yeah. more. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if it's coming back, when it's coming back. The course is called, like Rachel said it, but it's Design Make Sell. Yeah. So when you're emailing, ask for that. And don't, and don't, don't tell, tell them we, them we you. said it. <laughs> Come on now. It's me because I open my big mouth. No, it's fine. Well, I'm used to We're being used to able talking to help about it, yeah. people because yeah. we work so hard on the course. So, But I'm sorry. It's... God. Oh man, I'm Rachel, glad Becca said something. I was just gonna. You think of any good fonts for Miss Charlotte, who's making camping little shirts? Um, she wants to put Camp Chaos on the front and the names on the back. And do you have any font ideas for chaos? Like, do you want it to look chaotic? Yeah, that's rough? kind of. So Michael has like the font Michael, or is it Blake? Blake, no, Blake or is, Michael Blake has is like bold. jagged yeah. edges on it, which is kind of cool. Um, I know we have one called Polo Loco, but I can't it's remember. It's Poco. Poco Loco. Is it Poco Loco? I wrote down Polo and then couldn't find it in Design Space okay. after I downloaded it. But it's been released, right? That's It's being released on Thursday. Just kidding, guys. Stay tuned for Thursday. I couldn't remember. Yeah. But that, that one would be good. Because that's what I thought yeah. of, too, because it's kind of... Max Patch, honestly, is one of my favorite fonts. I use it on everything right now. I like all uppercase. It looks yeah. really good. Yeah. So look at that, too. Anyway, yeah. sorry. That was a big tangent. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we've went through all the supplies. I hope you guys are comfortable with all those. You know what's going on with all those. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Becca, anything you want to add or anything? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry I started talking about Design Next Sale because then I'm just, I'm breaking hearts here. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking hearts. I apologize. We're just so used to being okay. able to say we can totally help you with that because we have it. So, but we don't. It's a, it's going to be a transition for me and Becca too, <laughs> for sure. Uh -huh. um, 
What is Mod Podge? Nadia. I can't find it in Switzerland and online. The shipping costs are very high. Thanks a lot. So, if you have Elmer's glue, good old school glue, Becca, help me out, I think. You can dilute it with just a little bit of water, and that is basically the same thing as regular Mod Podge. It's not going to be like outdoor worthy or dishwasher safe or anything like that, but it's just kind of like a, it's like a, a sealer or you can glue stuff with it. I forget the actual definition of Mod Podge. Um, it's good stuff though. You can use it for like a base coat, a sealer. Um, you can use it to, it's really good for paper mache and things like that. But if you have regular school glue and you mix it with a little bit of water, that's kind of the same thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. So can you use <laughs> fakers going to learn what she corrected to makers, but I also like fakers because sometimes we fake it. Fakers uh, gonna learn. Can you use the makers going to learn in Ontario, even with the licensed files? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Miss Kayla. Ms. Yes. Kayla. Kayla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have makers going to learn friends all over the world. And as long as you are an active yearly member, you can use that license wherever you are. So that's really awesome. Uh, the only restriction to that license is if someone comes to you and says, Hey, I want 501 car decals, one order, then you're going to have to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that. But I don't know who in the world would ask for that, but anything over 5,501 5, 5, order, we, you can't do it. Kind of voids that license, but who in the world is going to do that? You know, you're not going to go around making 500 shirts. I sure hope not because that would be a lot on you. But yeah, so anything under the 500 quantity in one order, that's it. So, which is awesome. Uh, um, then we have another question. My granddaughter made a cute picture and I want to make it a cut file for a t-shirt or sticker. Do you have any YouTubes? Or a class for that. Now, remember that one I did at my house where I took the picture and took a picture of it? That was in Pro 2, wasn't it? Is that Pro 2? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. Pro 2 class, um, I do something very similar to that. Yeah. So, and yeah, check that out. I think we have one YouTube video and it was last Christmas and it was Tanner making a Christmas ornament with a photo. Oh. And it was different than what Becca did. Becca did oh, HTV. The dog one. Yeah. Becca yeah. did HTV for sure. So you would want to use the materials that Becca used and all that. Um, and then also you could use uh, that printable vinyl that Tanner did, it was for a little ornament of his little dog, Gus, and you print and cut it and all that. So you can take those same skills and then apply it to the printable um, HTV yeah. video that's on YouTube. And that would kind of, you know, combine those two to know how to upload the photo and then to know how to use the printable HTV on a shirt. That would be good. Um, Carol, yes, Poco Loco. We all thought it was Polo Loco, but it's Poco Because Loco. we love Mexican food around here? I sure do. But, yeah, so that's going to be launched on Thursday. Tanner, going to launch that for you guys. But, yeah, uh, keep the questions coming if you have any. But I think I'm just going to go on to Design Space okay. and show you guys what's going on there because it's going to be fun. But, yeah, we have all of our cut files here. Because um, we're not using any fonts today, and let me tell you, all of these are, guys, we're going to slice one. But other than that, it's just kind of a size and go situation here. So, our bottle, I'm going to do some measurements here, but you don't have to see me as I do them. I'm just going to let you guys know. Our bottle all the way around, just to give you some perspective, is 21 inches all the way around. So, for a cut file to go on our bottle and it not be too... Uh, distorted and you guys know what I mean like if you want to put a um, you know a decal onto a, a cup or a mug you don't want to stretch that decal all the way around the mug because then you won't be able to read it properly so we're gonna do a max of about five inches on our uh, decal that we're gonna be etching today so we have our little you and me here and as you can see I already did size it to five uh, this is five and a half um, let me measure that again because I think five and a half would be fine. It's just a half an inch. Sure. Yeah. Five and a half is fine. So we're going to go ahead and leave that at five and a half. And what we're going to have to do is slice this out. Now I am using this method 
uh, which I don't really know what it's called. And the only reason I did that was so I wouldn't forget to show you all that I was gonna leave some extra room for our stencil because I'm the queen of doing that. Uh, but I think this is called the box method or something. I actually don't recommend this for you all who is uh, doing this because it wastes more vinyl and we don't want to do that. But the only reason I did that was so I would remember. So excuse me for so that. So a couple of questions. Sure. Uh, Miss Marianne said, question, when do you know when to use slice? So anytime that you want to remove um, part of a cut file um, or like, for instance, if she did this square here and wants to um, cut out sort of like a cookie cutter um, the cut file from it, then you would have to slice. You obviously can't contour that because it's two layers. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're using two layers and you need to slice for sure. Um, then there was another question. Uh, do I need Cricut access if I get this? Meaning Maker's going to learn membership. And the answer honestly varies um, from person to person. A lot of our members have both Cricut Access and Maker's Gonna Learn because um, they just like the different projects and the fonts and um, different things like that that are available. And then we also have several, like I personally don't have Cricut Access. I just use um, our Maker's Gonna Learn fonts and files. So um, totally up to you. The one cool thing about Maker's Gonna Learn is that, um, you know, if you download the files and fonts, then you get to keep them forever. Whereas Cricut access you once you cancel that membership they're gone um but yeah our members will sh i'm sure weigh in for you guys or for you um on that call yeah and if you guys are talking from the mindset of like do you have to have cricket access in order to use cricket design space uh you do not you Correct. don't have to have cricket access to be able to use that cricket access um is an additional charge to using design space which is free so design space is just you know an application that you can download on your desktop ipad uh, laptop whatever and that's the way that you you know design your cut files and things like that so that's free you do not have to have um you don't have to purchase anything in order to use that so okay did i see another one did i see another one uh, there was on? one what was the name of the videos on how to turn the drawing into a cut file but okay i'm sweet. not sure i'm gonna look really quick and leah oh did you already help leah you already did there uh, you go yeah awesome yeah and again all of the uh links to the projects projects to the products we're losing using god i'm so tongue-tied today it's okay it's all okay. of the links to the products we're using is in the description below Maybe I should just cut my losses and be mute today. Maybe Becca can talk for yeah, me. Yeah, I'll be your voice so like, I'll like, you know, <laughs> just keep my mouth shut and then Becca will just try her best at explaining what the crap I'm doing. It would be like, you know, like me being your hands. I, I think that hands. would be fun. They're hilarious. We could do a craft that way one day. We should do it. Yeah. We should do it. They would love that. Maybe, Becca, maybe we should convince Tanner to let us do that on Black Friday. Oh, I like it. I <laughs> for like an it. hour. <laughs> yeah. Courtney needs to get on it. We can have two people. It'll be like a race. Whoever yes. can finish it the best. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh. Hey, Rachel, is the commercial license limited to 500 per order? If I had 500 separate orders who all wanted the same project, could I use the same cut file since they are different orders? Thanks. I'm going to go with yeah. Um, I mean, I don't see 500 people wanting the exact same thing you know, like down to the color that you paint it and the size of cut file you use and this and that. Um, but you do seem like really concerned and what's the right word? Like um, responsible. You seem super responsible in asking this. So that's a great question, Miss Jessica. But I'm just going to go ahead and say if it's separate orders, that's fine. I think that it's 500 an order. So like if, if a gigantic church came to you and said we're having a camp and we want 550 t-shirts you couldn't do that but if they're you know different times throughout the year and you use the same cut file 500 times that just means that the cut file is popular it's not on you i think that's totally fine becca what do you think so i don't know i'm not a lawyer i don't know i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and think that that's fine though you know yeah okay so uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is weld this all together. Now, the reason we want to do this is because you cannot slice more than two layers at a time, and that's going to include your uh, my square here. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here to the bottom and just click weld. I've got, as you can see over here in the layers panel, all of these selected. I'm going to click weld, and you can see it just turns into one. And now I can be able to slice this. Now, 
I really don't have to slice it, but I wanted to slice it to show you guys because I could go ahead and just click make it just like this. And then down here, I'm just going to show you, you can see right here that I have sliced this out and it's going to cut. Yeah, that's fine. But I could just take this one here, move it down a little bit, and it's going to do the exact same thing. Do you feel me? Like I'm going to have the same negative vinyl, you know, regardless of which one I cut, even though this one, it just looks like it's more correct because the insides are, you know, clear or whatever. But this guy, all I would do is, is weed the inside instead of the outside. Um, just the opposite of what I would do if I normally cut that out. So I hope you guys understand that. Let me know if you don't, but I just wanted to explain that because there are different ways you could do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this one because I pre-cut these out for you guys and I did use this one. So just to keep everything consistent and allow you to be able to clearly see all of that goodness, that's the one that we used. Um, so again, um, I made my square larger. So I'll actually show you how I'm gonna do that since uh, since I decided to keep it this way. I made my square larger because I don't want my uh, etching cream to get anywhere it shouldn't get. Uh, so I want to create kind of like a barrier. I want uh, a lot of room around all four sides of my um, design here. So I'm just going to get a square and you just want to kind of stretch it to be larger than your image. It doesn't have to be a crazy amount larger or anything. I'm gonna go to a range and move this to the back and then unlock this and you're just gonna make it bigger. Just like that, like that's plenty of room right there. Lock that back. If you wanna get super technical with it, you can go there and align this to the center. So after you select both those. And then once you have both of these here, um, all layered on top of each other, you're just gonna select both those layers and you can see I have one layer two layers and now you can see down here that my slice feature is um it's not hidden for me like this contour is it's, it's there for me i can use it because i only have two layers selected so if i just click slice then i can drag this down and erase these two parts because i don't need those and then there we go same thing you know really easy this is going to be a great stencil um but again you could just use that cut file and slide it a little bit more towards the center and not so much over to the side or if all else fails and you forget to do that don't scrap your vinyl or anything you can always take some masking tape and just kind of create a little barrier around your design with some masking tape if you just have you know a tiny edge there that you're kind of scared of getting some etch all on um yeah so I'm just gonna erase that one now because that's as easy as that one is. Let me know if you guys have any questions about that. There is a question, it's not about that, sure. but we can go ahead and answer it. Sure. What tips and tricks can you give for using paper? Been practicing, but many times paper rips during the cutting. Does less pressure work better or a different material example is for uh, paper from Hobby Lobby? That's um, a good question. Yeah. I think there are several avenues that we could take here. Um, I literally have never used the less pressure option when cutting anything, much less paper. So the only reason I've used it is when we literally just changed the blade 10 minutes okay. ago and I was trying to cut iron on or vinyl and uh -huh. it's cutting like directly all, way, all the way through, which it will if you um, have such a fresh blade that you don't use it on other materials like cardstock or paper to let it dull just a little bit. If you like go straight into something that has a backing or has a protective layer, with it, then you're gonna sometimes run into trouble, but uh, less pressure doesn't seem like it would be beneficial here because if the paper rips, it means it's already not getting enough pressure in my opinion, I think. Yeah. Now also your mat might not be sticky enough. If your mat's not sticky, your paper's gonna kinda slide. come up from your mm -hmm. mat yeah, and slide around. Make sure your blade is fresh. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And another tip, actually we talked about it today, is make sure if you're having issues with that, maybe bring your design a little bit further in. Mm -hmm. um, so it's for, it's further away from like the margins of the paper. Sure. That tends to help um, for me when I was doing the uh, storybook garland, I had issues with that because the, the uh, pages from the book were very thin. So I just moved the design in further and it quit ripping. Yeah. So try that. And also, also, um, if you're using an, an Explorer 2, just put your dial to custom. Don't use the dial, just right. turn it to custom. Agreed. And then in design space, you can um, 
you can be able to get a, a really, um, you know, precise cut. And I see two questions about, about contour. contour yep. Yeah, so I'll answer those now. So can you explain what contour does? Sure. So contour is a great way. I love the contour button. It's a great way if you see this cut file and you're like, I love this ampersand. I want to be able to use this on a different project, but I don't want the you and me always forever in these little marks here on this. So. As you can see in the bottom right layers panel, you can see right where my mouse is. Down here, you have slice, weld, attach, flatten, and contour. Contour is a great tool that you, again, like I mentioned, can use to select certain parts out of your cut files. Now, as you can see right now, it is hidden. I can't click it even if I wanted to. And the reason for that is because uh, this is grouped together. You can't contour in different groups. You do have to contour one color or one section at a time. So what I'll do is go up here and you see group is hidden. I can't click that either. And then ungroup is here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click ungroup. Now this isn't the same on every single SVG. Some might be like this one message in a bottle, in which case you can see down here, I can go ahead and contour that right now. Like I'm good to go. If I wanted the Mr. It's and just Mrs. One layer. Yeah. Yeah. If I wanted the Mr. and Mrs., you could go through there and contour out all of this stuff, um, which would be pretty time consuming to be honest. Um, so what I would recommend for that particular um, part, if you didn't want any of this and you wanted to keep the Mr. and Mrs., let me just demonstrate what you would have to do if you chose to contour. You would have to click, wait till it highlights. Where's the message? There you go. I'd have to click that, click like the inner parts. You can see they kind of will hide themselves and all that. You would have to go through there and do that to all of these. You can see it's just kind of, you know, doing that for us. And I wish I hadn't done that because I need to, I need that. Um, and then like I mentioned with the uh, you and me, um, after we ungroup those, then when you have your different colors, you can go through there and contour those color by color. Um, yeah. So now you can contour that one if you just want that uh, ampersand. Actually, no, that this one's easier. If you want just want the ampersand since they're different colors, you can drag that color out and then uh, delete that one. And now all you have to contour out, as you can see that contour is uh, available for us to use. All you have to do is click those and you're good to go. Um, but like I was gonna uh, demonstrate for this fella, because you would have to do all these tiny letters and the in, in between the letters, it's just a little bit complicated. So what we would recommend for this is going ahead and getting a shape. And I think this is Becca's preferred way to grab a, you know, a part of a file really quickly. I see you're using this technique often. If you go through there and you select a shape that's, you know, the exact measurement you want. Now you can see the only thing that's exposed is the Mr. and Mrs. You don't want to have it like this. You don't want to have it, you know, covering halfway. Just go ahead and cover the entire thing. Um, and then with nothing but Mr. and Mrs. showing. And then you can go ahead and drag over both of those and click slice. And then as you can see, you have the Mr. and Mrs. That's all you need. And you don't need any of those. So I hope that explains that for you guys. It's super easy. So there's our ampersand. That's what we wanted. And our Mr. and Mrs. That's what we wanted. So there's different ways you could do it. Um, like with this cut file, it was way easier to contour than have to slice one side than the other side and all that. But with this cut file, it was so much easier to grab a square, slice it, and go. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. So we have our stencil done. We have, uh, next up is just our message in a bottle sign. We know that our frame is gonna hold a five by seven a piece of cardstock, um, but that's actually the frame size or photo or whatever. So if you actually get your um, measuring tape and you measure, you actually only have a width. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that. You only have a width of 4.5 which I hate this about photo frames. What if your photo, what if you wanna see every single bit of your photo? Well, you can't because the frame is in the way. And this one's about 6.75 for the half instead of seven. So 6.75. So while it holds, you know, the size of five by seven in a photo, it's not gonna show the entire photo, which does kind of irritate me, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, now I'm going to go ahead and move this, send this to the front. And as you can see, it's way too big. And this is actually what 
what we'll be able to use. This is usable space, not just the frame size, which is five by seven. So we're gonna still make this a lot smaller. Something like that. You can even go a little bit smaller with it if you want to. If you want to stretch it, you can unlock that and stretch it down just a bit without distorting it too, too bad. Um, and just kind of have it nice and proportional. You don't want it to, to look a little awkward or anything. And that square we have here is just for visualization purposes. So you don't need to, you know, put it right in the middle or anything. It's just to kind of visualize, does this look good on this size or not? So once you have it like that, it's just as easy as cutting it out. So simple. Um, and to do that, we're just gonna take this layer and hide it or erase it. And then we have our color separate because we want this out of black vinyl and then we want this out of blue vinyl and one thing to remember is when you are weeding this it's so easy to get in the mind frame of weeding it just like you're supposed to but when you're using a stencil you want to weed basically the opposite of what you would normally weed to make a stencil i've made the mistake of being talking or in a rush or something and weeding the wrong part of it which is super sad so make sure that you're weeding the correct part and then we're good to go like that's it just make sure you set your uh, material to vinyl and we're and you're good to go like you you guys totally know how to do all this you don't even need me so yeah go ahead and set your set to vinyl now Becca tell me for the Cricut maker in the craft room it says premium vinyl nothing more nothing less it won't let you select regular vinyl but this one here just says vinyl it's just vinyl I know I don't I don't I don't understand Look, vinyl, vinyl, and our ours says premium vinyl, vinyl. See is it not? See if premium vinyl is even in there. So what's the difference in premium, premium vinyl? vinyl is one of the... But it won't let you select regular vinyl on that maker. It's, so it's like it doesn't weird. even have it as a setting. Guys, I've got so many questions for the Cricut team. So weird. So many questions. Okay, so we're done in design space, which is awesome. And then a hop, skip, and a jump, and a cut, and a weed later, there you go. You're done. So Got it. We just cut it, weeded all that out, and here's this box method. Look how much you wasted here. This is on the corner of the mat. This is why I hate this box method. You waste that. And that's going to, that adds up after a while when you could just kind of scoot it down and then go about your day. So do think about that. I know a lot of people think that's pretty popular to do, but I don't love it. So. What we're going to do first thing, mostly because, you know, it's already 2.09 and we haven't even applied our etching cream. It takes 20 minutes. We're going to do that first and foremost. So we have our etching cream here, our jumbo craft stick, popsicle stick, whatever. That, which is coat weeded, and I've just applied some transfer tape there in the middle for us. I'm going to set our jug over there and set this over here. And I'm going to get our rubbing alcohol and actually wipe our jug off. Got a little alcohol pump here. And I like using etching cream. Some people are scared of it. Don't be scared of it. It's fine. I'm just gonna clean it. Alcohol. It'll dry itself pretty quickly. It doesn't take long. I know rubbing alcohol is like a what do you call it? It's very you can't even find it anymore. It's a commodity. It's a hot commodity. Yeah. So now that that's good and clean, we're just going to set that to the side and go through here. We're going to burnish our vinyl. Burnish the back. Peel this up. This is plenty of space on either side of our design to be able to allow us to um, have a good seal with that etching cream. Be careful of the little middles of the letters you can see. And I do, I'm not doing it right now, which I probably should be. I find it easier to peel the backing off of vinyl going like from the top of the letters down. For some reason it's easier to go side to side for me. I think it looks a little better. Um, I think it's a little bit faster, but that's okay. This one will just take a little bit longer. Nothing wrong with that. Now we're going to go ahead and set our bottle in this, uh, this little tray that we've got. Just a random little white tray, just like that. 
You guys know how obsessive I am. I'm going to stand up and try and get over this guy to see it. But then I'm going to have to trust Becca, which I, I don't have a problem doing. So uh, I want it kind of up a little bit, but still centered. So let me scoot this over so we all can kind of see a little bit better. I don't know if it's even. I can't see over it at all. And I accidentally stuck it down. So this is where it's going. So I hope it's even. <laughs> It's it not come up at all, will it? No. How crooked is it? It's a little crooked. Is it crooked it's as not, the day is long? It's not Look, guys. horrible, but it is crooked. Oh, got, you it. got it. Okay. Let's fix that. Okay. Go to the, uh, take the bottom down a little bit to the right. You, that looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Still? Maybe a little more to the right. Yeah, perfect. Haha. -ha. Okay. Now, we're going to start in the middle. Don't try this at home when you just pull your jug. You're going to break it. And then I'll just start in the middle with my fingers and I'll just rub it with my fingers. Now, I'm not concerned about these little edges here because this is a big decal. I'm concerned about making sure my actual decal is down well in the middle. And then I'll worry about those edges. Mm -hmm. Like, see, like I can make that ripple. You see that ripple? I don't care about that once the, all these are laid down nice and beautiful. We, we don't want any that ripples in that. Uh -uh. Actual not design. in our design. But see up here, that's fine. It's not gonna create any problems for our seal or anything. Yeah. We just want it there as a barrier. And the reason that you don't want the ripples around like the letters and words or whatnot is that the etching cream will get under your stencil and will ruin oh, it will. the look. Yeah. One hundred percent. We don't want that either. So now you're gonna take the very corner and just peel up. And it should just come off beautifully. I mean, you saw how, how much force it took me to shake this bottle to get it off, just trying to reposition it. So it's gonna stick well. So there you go. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna glove up. The message in a bottle, I may have missed it, but did you use well the message in the bottle before cutting it to have as one piece of vinyl? That's a cut file, right? Yeah, it's a cut file. It is a cut uh -huh. file, so. Um, it's just a size, size and cut. Yeah. If you, you were used, if you had written that out with a the text, then yes, you would have needed to weld it for Absolutely. sure. Especially with all those cursive fonts. If you're ever using a cursive script font and you kern those, which please kern your cursive. Please, for the love of all <laughs> That's those That's like holy... pet peeve. Oh, guys, I see people, and it's not like a, it infuriates me because it makes me sad because they're just not educated for it. It's not their fault, but I see people selling $65 glitter tumblers with a quote with fonts that haven't been kerned, like script fonts. And oh my goodness, does it make me sad uh, because they work so hard on that. And then it's, you know, it could be just a little bit better. But anyways, just kern that and then weld it, please. Um, here's our etching cream, opened it up, gloved up. Um, I have a popsicle stick. You don't need a fancy tool or anything. We literally just use a popsicle mm -hmm. stick. Mm -hmm. And I just slap this on just like that. And then just kind of work it around. It's not rocket science. Um, it's not difficult. It's not scary. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it eats the glass. Think of what it would do to your skin. Well, don't touch it or eat it or nothing, but we're all adults here. Like it's totally fine. Uh, it's good. As long as you don't glop it too much, which I actually love to glop this stuff. If it's on like a flat surface, I will put such a thick coat. I can't read what it says. Mm -hmm. And cause really the thicker and the more even your coverage, the better. Uh, but since this uh, is a bottle and it's curved a little bit, I don't want to get this to run down because uh, in a 20 minute span, it can easily start running down my bottle. And, and it ruin takes no time at all. Like you could be right on top of it. And when it ran down it, like immediately wipe it off and it's still, you'll still be oh, able to yeah. tell the difference. Oh no, it's she's insane. gone. Yeah. If, it, if that happens, it's gone. Uh, so yeah, just be careful. And then I meant to mention it in design space. I do apologize that I'm late in mentioning it. But, Becca, do you care to set a timer for 20 minutes on your phone? Yeah. Thank you. I guess I have an, an Apple Watch, but, you know. Set amazing. a timer for 20 minutes. Um, is that okay. you have to be... Your timer is set for 20 minutes. So loud. I love loud. that his so series... So loud, is, Siri. I love that her series is a boy. Yeah. Well, Beckett's is... A, or not Beckett. Wayne's is a British, uh, British. female. Mm -hmm. James's is the Australian lady, which just cracks I me up. I love it. But um, I like I meant to, to. Do you know that you can have your iPhone call you specific? Yes, things? yes, okay, yes. So yes, I yes. set lines to random things, like 
mean, ugly things. And, That's lovely. Yeah, and so she'll say something about, sure, smelly boogers, I'll do blah, blah, blah. But it's a, you, just That's just a, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but does it in the British accent, oh, and yeah. I just think it's hysterical. I laugh every time. How do you set it to Because I'm you, sort of I've never child. said, I know that You literally just say, hey, Siri, call me. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the, okay, from now on, I'll call you blah, blah, blah. That is hilarious. <laughs> I need to do that. I gotta do that with James. So That'd funny. Be funny. Okay, so I played with this enough. Becca set us a timer. This looks pretty good, not too gloppy, but keep your eye on it because you want to be near it enough to where you guys can um, be able to catch any spills or anything. So have some napkins folded up handy if you want to, and go ahead and keep this popsicle stick. Just like lay it on the lid here and set it to the side because you're gonna want to use those later. Trust me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and deglove. Um, and then we're just gonna kind of dive into placing uh, and cutting our little decal for our photo frame here. So here's our frame, just a little five by seven. Here's the one that's finished, you can see here. So that's what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna get our paper trimmer and trim our paper first and foremost. Now there's several ways that you can do this. You can have the Cricut cut it, you can cut it with a paper trimmer, you can measure it, trace it, hand cut it, just whatever you wanna do, whatever you're most comfortable doing. And then there's also several ways that you can um, take your vinyl and place your vinyl onto your frame. You can put it on the paper, then on the frame, which is what we did here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Which is what we did here. My easel's falling off. These curlies make it easy to jerk around. Or you can place the vinyl on the glass on the outside. Um, both of them are not permanent solutions, so you will be able to reuse this if you want to regardless. I actually think I'm gonna place the vinyl on the outside of the glass this time because I think it's easier to place than on the paper. It's kinda of like when we say we prefer to place our vinyl or iron-on onto our frames, like our wood frames, after the backing is secured rather than before, kinda of because it's just harder. Like if you can tell, which you totally can if you really look, this is a little bit slanted. It's just a little bit tilted over and it bugs me and that's just because I thought it was straight on the paper but then you put it in this frame here and you can easily see that it's a little bit mer. So I'm just gonna cut a five by seven piece of this paper, put it into a frame and then apply the vinyl to a frame. Again, there's different ways, personal preferences, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna take our paper trimmer, open her up here and just trim five by seven here. I'm gonna get over here, here's five. I've never been great at this whole paper thing. Becca is much more paper inclined than I am. Whatever. Give me some wood or something. I'm not great at the paper stuff. One day, I think Becca was there, which just makes it so much more embarrassing. One day I was trying to cut a very simple a dimension with this thing and for some reason I got it wrong like four times in a row and couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong it was maybe I maybe it was just exhaustion talking man I don't really remember the. I don't even remember that. <laughs> but I was mortified I, Becca was probably new it's probably like her second week and she's like who is this idiot that can't even <laughs> speaking of new I was thinking the other day what the what we did on my first day here and it was actually that video that I just posted um, of Tanner doing that ornament with Gus's picture on it. That was your, no. -uh. That was our, that was my first day. Shut up. Yeah. Becca, I yeah. love it. And I, I don't think remember it was that. Gus. I think it was, was it Gus or different? One of his other Oh, it was dogs. Chip. Yeah. Sorry, they're all Yorkies, all 14 of them, yeah. so. That was an exaggeration, people. But well, his mom does 12. love Yorkies, so there's. <laughs> There was a lot of Yorkies at one house at yeah. one time. You walk in and you're like, it's like a little army. Yeah. So I'm gonna clean the front and back of this glass because I'm obsessive. I'm actually just gonna clean the back right now. Rachel, that um, paper is from a pack at Hobby Lobby, right? This paper is from a pack at Hobby Lobby, yeah. yes. Okay. The top that we used uh, here for the finished one is like a gold chevron. That's what's linked below for you all. Um, did, did that did that come by itself or was it? In a it did. Two? It was just a sheet. Oh, okay. It was a sheet. Yeah. So they usually have them like four for a dollar or something like that. Um, come on now. Place that glass back in there. 
And then just place our piece of paper right inside. Got the measurement right this time. Mm -hmm. Proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Proud. Moving on up. And have I, have I told all of you guys how much I hate these stupid photo frames that have these stupid little, what are these, prongs or something? Oh, they're going to be oh, the little death tab of things. I thought about you the other day, though. You know that, did you see that picture that I got of the kids? Like, that was their ratio, like, birth, birth weight and height. Yes. Right next to each other. Well, I ordered a frame, and it wasn't a cheap frame. I mean, it wasn't super expensive, but it was like $75. And when it came in, it had those all over Ugh. the back of it. It was like. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. These and the there were worst. a ton of them because it was such a big frame. And it's not the it's not the opening the closing. It's the when you put anything in them, you can't because but, it yeah, one's one's out just enough and it won't sit right. I just feel like it's so to, cheap too. Ugh, it is. Ugh. So there you go. Perfect. Um, one thing to note is where these guys are. So if you want it to be, you know, correct, then you want to have it this way and then, you know, mm -hmm. put your cup ball on it that way. There's something to think about. Rachel, can you say stupid again? I love her. Stupid. I, I hate this stupid frame with these stupid little clasps or whatever they're called. <laughs> whatever. Oh, I need a pee in a minute. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. <laughs> The funny thing is, too, Becca's two feet from a toilet. I am. She is. It's true. <laughs> Just to unmock and pee. No, it's Becca. fine. I'm I good. can do I'm going to tough it out. Oh, my gosh. God love her. <laughs> okay. So, we're just going to apply our vinyl down. Easy peasy. I'm trying to go slow enough to where we have time to, to show you the etching. But not slow enough where I pee on myself. <laughs> but not slow enough to where Becca just, you know. We still have 12 minutes she's... on the etching, which actually on the wine glass, I only did 15. So we might be able did to scoop you? Oh, it yeah. I'll, then I'll, I'll, I'll get them off early. Yeah. I usually like to do longer. Yeah. But because this is alive, it's okay. Oh, I'll also show you the finished one. Hopefully, you guys can like, see it better. Um, mm, you can't. You can't. Yeah, okay, yeah. you kind of can. So you can see it says you and me, always and forever. And, it, you know, these things are in the way. But it's really cute. I think it's simple and dainty. And this thing needed something. But I didn't want it to be like a giant cut file that right. takes away. I wanted it to be super simple. So, like, when you're up here and you're riding on it and you see it, you're like, oh, that's cool. And that's about all I wanted to. So, if you had, like, have. a rustic type wedding, I think I said this when we first made it. But it would be cute to, like, burn the edges of the cardstock that oh, you yes. have for your... Um, guests to write on. I think that would be really cute. And then you can even take like little strips of leather if you wanted to and kind of wrap it around. Um, if, like I said, if your wedding was sort of rusticy. I could try to challenge me with that and I was like, oh, you're funny. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Whatever. She just came to me and she's like, hey, oh man, are you going to like burn the edges or something and make it look like a, I'm like, oh. Um, she's like, that sounds really good, but no. That <laughs> sounds awesome, but I have five other projects to make as well so maybe if i get super bored no i'm joking becca has incredible ideas all the time but that was one that I more times than not they take way too long though but they're always worth it if you decide to do them it's not like they're they're a waste of time all of them are great hello from antigua hello guys can you can you guess what type of vinyl this is that i'm struggling with huh huh is it cricket? Stupid. I hate cricket vinyl. I, mm. I mean, there I said it. I hate it. <laughs> Becca, do you want to name something else that I hate? Just one? Huh? <laughs> oh! Oh! Courtney is coming here and get, dig the knife out of my bag. Stop! I'm <laughs> I don't just know. One? I'm not on the same brain. What, just what, one? what else do you hate? Oh, regular vinyl in general. No, you know this. You make fun of me about this all the time. The bright pad. <laughs> My hatred for the bright pad. Which do you hate worse, the bright pad or cricket vinyl? Oh, cricket vinyl. Yeah, right? It's because I have to use it. Here's the thing. What I, I, what? Like, look at this. Do you guys see? Let me just get close. Like, I'm struggling. This, this, they're literally known for vinyl and, and their machines. Why, why can't they master this? And the backing I, is, oh, hate like, it. the backing's like ripping. It's weird. It's almost like, I don't know. Like any other vinyl sticks perfectly to this masking paper transfer tape. But this is just like, look, oh. And I was worried about us having too much time. Oh, 
Is that the last line? Oh, no. I was almost so relieved. Oh. Cough, use Oracle. Cough. Right. Or Starcraft. Oh, look, I've mangled. Look at this M. I've absolutely mangled. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. I used the, the last of our matte Oracle black oh. today, and I almost shed a tear. It was so sad. Look at this, what I've done. Not my fault. Kind of, but hey. Oh. Oh, we're getting there. And I tried to weed this, guys, and I, I, I lost. Like, it was, as you can see here, <laughs> in this one, my little dots are perfect, and they're fine. Nope, couldn't get them in this one. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Those dots were gone. So, sorry. Sorry about that. Before I have any grammar people. Is that technically grant punctuation? Whatever. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's a creative... Them. You don't need the periods. Oh, there you go, Becca. There you You're go. being cup. creative. You're being so cup half full right now. Right, I am. I, I am. generally try. Okay, so now we're gonna place this down. Since it's longer than it is wide, I'm just gonna hold it like this. Roberta said, "Which vinyl brand do you guys use the most?" Mm. Or normally, yeah, we're gonna be using Starcraft. Yeah, we do like Starcraft a Which, whole lot. I often accidentally, well, it's not accident. I often grab it and use it and don't think anything of it. And that's when you know it's good. Right. Is when you don't have complaints. When it works and you don't have to be like, oh, I really didn't like that. Or, well, why is this taking forever? If you just have a smooth project, I have no complaints about StarCraft. So that's fine. I, I would think it was Oracle any day because that's what I was thought I was working with so I'm fine with it I'm cool I like it a lot it's neat I think their color choices are awesome too okay so I just burnished that down guys laid it down I'm gonna peel this up beautiful so here's your little message in a bottle I like I just like the shimmery of the gold yeah, I think it's did. really pretty so we're good there now the next thing that we're going to do is cut our paper for our little our little rolls, our little scrolls here. And I will wrap a couple for you just to be able to toss in there. But it, really, hopefully, you would have like strips of paper pre-cut and then strips of your uh, ribbon pre-cut and just kind of laying there on a platter or something like that cute with a pen for your guests to be able to write something on and to stick in here. So we're going to go ahead and cut some of those. I'll get our paper out. And again, it's just regular copy paper that I'm using today. And then I have our paper trimmer. I'm just going to cut these at five inches across. Or maybe, let's see. Let's see. Wrong way. See? I'm so good at math, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Tara said, what is StarCraft? Five and a half. So StarCraft is... Uh, 651 Vinyls, which is a store that we love. That's where we get all of our vinyl, all of our iron-on. We love Caesar Easy Weed. Um, they have a bunch of amazing products like the Pin Pin Tool, which we love to use for weeding things. Um, they're just a good company. Shipping is fast. Um, it's free if it's over a certain amount, things like that. And um, the prices are really, really hard to beat. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just vinyl. So, StarCraft... Um, Permanent adhesive is the actual name. So StarCraft Permanent Adhesive. But as we've mentioned before we get piles and piles of comments, just because it says permanent doesn't mean it will never come off of anything you put it on. Um, yeah, so. Oh, what scraper did I use? Funny you should mention it. This is a 651 vinyl scraper as well. I love these because I don't even think I have them in here anymore, which is fine by me. The Cricut ones that are hard plastic, they, if you try and scrape it on anything other than vinyl, um, like if you try and scrape something off your mat or whatever, it'll start getting jagged edges on that hard plastic. Yeah, and then and when like you go to scratches, burnish your vinyl down, yeah. you scratch your vinyl. Yes, Agreed. Becca. Agreed. And I can't stand it. But this is like, it's bendy. This is bendy plastic, but it's great. This is what I love to burnish with. Love to burnish, burnish with these. So they have like this pink and red and a pretty uh, mint green, green and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so you can... 
grab these. I, I could literally spend a thousand bucks. When we were there touring the place before we left and um, now this, it's just because we were there. It, it's not a shop. You can't go there and shop in the warehouse or anything, but because we had been there all weekend and we were taking tours and stuff, uh, Tanner said, do you care if we grab some stuff here before we leave? Because we drove all the way there, you know, so we can place an order when we get back. And Troy kindly said, yeah, go ahead. We'll have, you know, somebody go on behind you and, and help you out with all that. So we got to go around there and buy some things that we wanted from the warehouse. And I honestly, it was, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was so excited. <laughs> I mean, with the pin pin tools and they had a bunch of blanks that were awesome. It's great. So definitely check out their website for sure. What type of vinyl do you use for mugs or glasses? Um, any type of uh, good quality vinyl. It doesn't have to say premium outdoor, permanent, removable, all those. I feel like personally, I'm not t you know speaking for the entire Maker Learn team or anything. Um, I think that that is mostly what brands say just to say it like that you need all of the different types but i personally think that all of the adhesives are relatively the same in good quality vinyls no matter if it's premium outdoor permanent removable regular whatever um, i think it's kind of the same thing so um really just, it, just any kind and i would always um recommend to to seal those if you want to unless it's on glass in which case just don't seal it it'll last fine so i'm just cutting this paper at five uh, and a half inches. That way you can get two perfect little rolls here. So five and a half inches. But yeah, I'm sure, um, I'm sure one day I would love to do an actual like head to head comparison on different types of vinyl that claim to be stickier or whatever, or more permanent than others. Um, but I don't think I would see a lot of difference and especially not enough to pay what some brands are asking you to pay for a vinyl that's marketed as uh, outdoor worthy or permanent or something like that because that's just not true you know now it might go along the lines of yeah it's a little bit stronger but it's not like ridiculously stronger okay so i'm just going to cut a couple more of these there we go um, and that way you're not wasting anything you have just perfect sheets with your paper here so i'm just going to set that to the side our paper trimmer and you can write something on there cute little note there for you and roll this up and then um, add your ribbon so if you want to add a little bit of ribbon here just to show you cut that open there this is cute so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of ribbon and since I'm crazy I just like to go ahead and pre um, tie it in one little knot but leave a big loop there it's just easier for me so you see I have my loop there so I'm gonna leave that over there with my little loop and now I'm gonna rod in it and then pretend I wrote in it and then just curl it up make it even and my loop came undone but that's okay you guys knew where I was going with that you knew where I was going it helps me with my paper I'm gonna go ahead and pull that tight you can even that up there. And you can see your little loop here. Look how cute. And you can go ahead and make it into a bow tie or you can just double knot it. I'm sure different guests will do different things, you know, as they're placing them in there. But you can do whatever you want to do. You can see there's just one that we've done. How cute is that? Love it. Okay, yeah. I'll do one more. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off this. Um, I think we're like cream. in a minute. So yeah, you're Perfect. good. And the etching cream, guys, just to let you know, um, all you're going to want to do, I can't show you on camera, unfortunately. All you're going to want to do um, is take it to a sink, which, again, we're very close to a bathroom. Poor Becca. And, <laughs> yeah. Stop making me laugh. Sorry, sorry. Poor Becca. Poor Becca. Somebody said, she could have gone to the bathroom in the time it took you to weed or transfer that or whatever it was. Oh, my gosh. True. Yeah, it's okay. She's a trooper. Right. Honestly, guys, it sounds terrible. Both times in my entire life, my 22 years, that I've had to pee more than I've ever had to pee in my entire life. Both times. Because, you know, you remember stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You're like, I've never had to pee as bad as that, you know, that time, X, Y, and Z. Both of them have been with Tanner. Both of them. One time we went to Knoxville. We were working. But 
Tanner, let me get some popcorn and a... I say let me like he's my dad. Tanner, <laughs> Tanner, let me get an icy and popcorn at, at Target. And then on the way home, I had to pee. So I, he literally had to stop me in a truck stop bathroom. I was about to just pee all over his car. I have never... I was like, Tanner, I'm literally going to pee on myself. And then the other one was during a flipping live stream. I thought I was going to die. I was like, Tanner, please stop talking. I love you, but please. Um, we normally go to the bathroom before the live, and I didn't. I was working on some SVGs. Oh, and my God. just got sidetracked. Well, that was what happens. That's all right. So I got two made. Here you go. One's a little fatter than the other one. Mm -hmm. um, nothing wrong with that. As long as it can fit to your little cap here. Then you're good, and why? You know, you don't need nothing that big. Just roll it tight, and you'll be good. Um, so now for our etching cream, da, 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 da. open this guy back up because you can save it, which I really love. It it kind of makes how much you have to pay for this little fella yeah, because it's seem not a cheap. bit better <laughs> because he is not cheap. But really, this could last you forever because you're not you don't really have to leave any product if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna scrape this off here. Back, right back into the jar and then what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna go to the sink and I'm just gonna rinse it off and as I'm rinsing it I hate to do this but I'm gonna try and speed up the process um, as I'm rinsing it I'm gonna peel off all of my vinyl uh, because if I just rinse it and then bring it back to my workstation and then peel it off there'll still be little bits of this etching cream in the nooks and crannies of this vinyl decal that I wouldn't have got rinsed off well. So as I'm rinsing it in the sink, I'm gonna make a mess over there. You can do it outside at a water hose if you feel more comfortable. And see, I got a little bit of cream right there. Wipe it off. I think I caught it early. Nobody freak out, it's not eating my, it's not eating my finger or anything. We're all good. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. That's pretty good. Okay. Go ahead and throw that away now, you're good. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, wash this off, peel it off, and then we'll be back. So, baby's gonna entertain, she's gonna sing a song for you guys. Oh, I am, okay. I am. You, can, you got this, Becca. It would have to be some silly song that my kids listen to on YouTube because that's all that comes to my head. I had this one song stuck in my head. Uh, it had to have been for almost an entire day and it was about the flipping colors of the rainbow. Oh my gosh. I woke up in the middle of the night singing it. It's terrible. But um, just to spare you all, I'm not going to sing you a song. Uh, I do want to tell you, though, our summer summit, we talked on it some last week, but our summer summit is on sale, um, $20 off using code MAKE, M-A-K-E. So if you have not gotten your summit ticket yet, go ahead and do that. I'm going to drop the link really quick. Um, summer, summer Summit is coming up. It's coming up quickly, guys. Uh, and let's see, it is July 25th and 26th. And if you are unfamiliar with our summits, what it is, is a weekend of amazing uh, crafting that basically we have 10 projects, 10 classes um, that we teach. Generally, there are four or five, six instructors. Um, so you get a fun variety of teaching methods and styles. Um, and so we'll do 10 projects. Sometimes Courtney will sneak in two in one because she's sneaky like that. Yeah, or, um, you know, if you have like a two-parter, like yeah. one time I did, those wooden candle oh, stands yeah. Yeah. and then water slide decals for the candles. It really just depends on the complexity of what we're wanting to get across, you know? Right. So, uh, you know, 10 classes, we're doing fun, wonderful projects, and these will be fall themed because we like to try to get you guys ready for the next season that's coming up. Um, and like I said, it's the 25th and 26th, which is a Saturday and Sunday in July. We're going to be crafting all day with you guys. Generally, it's from what, like 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so three or four. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a really good time. But if those dates do not work for you, you can still purchase a ticket to Summit and watch all of those videos at your convenience. Um, we do love that weekend in particular because we like to do a lot of giveaways. Um, we generally release some insider information for new and fun upcoming um, projects that we have available. Um, but yeah, it's a great time. Check it out if you haven't already and use code MAKE, M-A-K-E, to get a wonderful discount on that. That's going to be here before we know it, Becca. It, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's coming it's up. It's going to be here soon. Uh-huh. 
So whatever time I left, I've left on this is perfect. Perfect amount of time. It looks great. I'm gonna try and get it up close so you guys can see it. See, how pretty. So that looks great, it's just subtle, but it did an amazing job. I think it looks really, really good. So once you have that, literally, all you gotta do is screw off the top here and put these little guys in here and that's it. Just have your guests do that. Um, and there you have it. Just a cute Look how good that looks. message in a bottle here. They're so cute. And this would be cute, cute home decor for you guys if you are into that. I if you want to pop that on there. So then the finished one, of course, has more of those in there. And you can kind of still see a little bit of the detail in that etching. But I just like that it's subtle. And it's not in your face, big black vinyl. It's just kind of there. And right. it's simple, you know. I love it. Really do, really do. Yep. Well, now I have two of these. Who's getting married? We need to Tanner oh. and Courtney. Oh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, they're getting <laughs> married. Yeah, they could use it. Sure could. They could use it if they wanted to. You really could. It just depends. Yeah. So now I have two sets of these, which I'm excited about. We have two little frames. I really like them both. I might even like this one better. Mm. Really, just go there and get inspired. Uh, if your wedding has a theme, they have a ton of different pattern paper for things. Um, anything that you can want want they have little hearts they have little bumblebees well you know with the with the gold accents they've got a ton of stuff um and like i mentioned you can place the vinyl inside the frame or outside the frame on the glass either way you can easily peel that off and reuse that frame for something else because they're not cheap and it's better to have them to be reusable so yeah so anyways um Where's the jar from? Michaela, Miss, looks like Miss Becca already took care of you. I did. Yeah. I sure did. That's amazing. Guys, we have over 200 people watching right now, which is amazing. We're super excited Hi about that. Guys. But I want to know if you are a first time viewer here with Makers Gonna Learn, we would love to give you a shout and out. A, and if like you, a hand raise emoji. Yeah, for yeah. sure. If you are not a current subscriber of our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, and like and comment on this video. Super fun. Please do. Uh, but yeah, if you subscribe to our channel, then we craft with you live or pre-recorded every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys are spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's fun. We love crafting and we love crafting with you. Yeah. And we like to say, if you enjoy these videos and you enjoy what you see and what we teach and uh -huh. how we teach it and the cut files we use, then you will adore Makers Gonna Learn, which is our die cutting community that's incredible. So if you guys would like to join Makers Gonna Learn and get these cut files that we use today, plus over 4,000 more, along with over 400 fonts, amazing printable guides. Let me show you this printable guide that we know. This is their Cricut printable guide. And it's like, some people call it their Cricut Bible, which I think is hilarious. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's got terminology in it uh, that you guys can learn if you are brand new. It has blade charts, so like what blade uh, is used with which material. There's a lot of my favorite stuff in here. Which mat to use, which is great. Uh, easy press temperature charts, which is awesome. Cheat sheets. I mean, this thing's got everything. It is. This is one of like 12 printable guides you guys get in the Makers You Learn membership. And if you go yearly, you will get those fonts. You will get some e-courses that teach you how to use your machine, how to master design space, and amazing things like that. We have a Facebook group that is incredible. So if you have a machine you either just got, don't really know how to use, don't use it as much as you thought or you've had it forever and you think you know all there is to know about it or you're actually, thinking about getting a cricket or you're thinking about getting which one. is like our yeah. friend cindy cindy yeah. yeah yeah cindy she's that she doesn't have a cricket but she's just here yeah. chilling yeah so uh dawn and toya this is the first time viewers hi thank you so much and then susan says this is my second time thank you for coming back we love yes, that thank you so much uh fantastic toya says i enjoyed the information and learning thank you so much that's very sweet you guys are awesome. Um, you guys are great. Yeah. Yeah. You're the best. Thank you all. We couldn't do what we do without you. And we're very thankful for you guys. We love these lives. I look forward to them. Um, I know we're doing less than we used to be doing, but we're, we're the reason why is because me and Becca and the whole team are working really, really hard around the clock all the time to be able to give you guys incredible content, amazing projects and things like that. So we've scaled back on that while still giving you guys something every weekday, which like is nuts. So 
we love you all so you're welcome but we hope that you are enjoying all of the videos and all the lives and um, seeing the changes and there's big things coming in the membership and all that good stuff which is awesome um, is that printed on cardstock and laminated miss Tara this is actually I think it is laminated yeah we just took this to our local UPS store but it was very overpriced so don't take it there oh it's insane please Did not do guys. that it was nuts and I don't like the binding it's like the cheap plastic we've had to rebind this like Tanner loves to open it up and then do the oh my pet peeve. I just cringe when he does it. But uh, you can take it to a print shop. You can do it yourself. You can put it in, what is that called? Sheet protectors, Becca? Yep. You can put it in sheet protectors and a three ring binder. Or you can just leave it on your phone or your tablet and have it close by. Whatever tickles your fancy, you can do with that. Yeah. But guys, I hope you all have an incredible Monday. Uh, we will see you back here Wednesday with Miss Becca making... Mm -hmm. It's another wedding project. It but, is. But... It could easily be home decor. Oh, for sure. Easily be a gift idea. It just came from the wedding collection, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for sh uh, her to show you guys how she made it. Yeah. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Y'all are addicting. Leah, thank you. I love that. Us, That's with the best our, compliment. With our craziness and our tongue-tiedness and our embarrassing stories. <laughs> Carol said... Potty time, Becca. Tell Rachel to end the stream. Look, Which, I'm not sure if she meant to be punny or not, but I appreciate it. <laughs> We're going to go let Becca pee now, guys. So I hope that you all have a great day. We will see you Wednesday. Bye, Bye guys. guys.